Welcome to today's episode of Mind Explorations, your guide to the fascinating world of personal growth and self-discovery. Today, we have something truly special to share with you. We'll be diving into the transformative content of Larry's website, a unique online space that goes beyond traditional domains like .com or .org. Break free from the tradition and boldly click Larry's unique link to begin your new journey of self-discovery. Larry's site is a treasure trove of insights into human behavior, inspired by the teachings of Dr. Wayne Dyer and Larry's own extensive exploration of our inner worlds. In the next minute, we'll give you a glimpse of what to expect and why Larry's approach to understanding our thoughts, feelings, and emotions is so powerful. So, stay tuned, and get ready to expand your mind. Ever feel like, kind of like everyone expects you to fit in this perfect little box? Oh, totally. Well, today's deep dive, we're looking at a guy, Larry Moten, who decided, you know what? I'm building my own box. And it's got all those unique angles, right? Exactly. Filled with, like, this whole different way of thinking about personal growth. Yeah, and he's not afraid to stand out. We've got his website, a PDF bio, even some video clips. And it's like, this guy has a system, but it's not your typical self-help stuff. Right, not at all. The first thing that kind of jumped out at me, maybe you saw it too, was this tagline on his website, be the flavor of life. Catchy, right. Super catchy. Yeah. But also, like, what does that even mean? It's definitely not your usual self-improvement jargon, but I think it gets at this whole individuality thing he's pushing. There's a video, I think it was on his About page, where he talks about being medicine to the sick, knowledge to fools, love combating negativity. Wow. It's almost like he wants people to find their own, you know, unique way to have a positive impact. So less about fitting in and more about standing out. But in a good way, like adding something to the mix that everyone benefits from. Yeah, like everyone brings their own spice to life, right? Exactly. And this connects to his whole thing about like unlocking your potential. Which he talks about a lot. Oh, yeah. And it's interesting. He's not coming from that, you know, traditional guru background, yeah. even though he definitely draws inspiration from people like Wayne Dyer. I was going to say, I did notice he has a background in psychology. He does, yeah. But it seems like he branched out pretty quickly from the traditional path. Yeah, he's got his BS in psychology, but then he really went deep into like the connection between self-talk, thoughts, emotions, even creativity, right. which now that I'm saying it out loud, you can totally see how all that plays into finding your flavor, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Like she's saying your inner world, that shapes everything you experience externally. Totally. And speaking of inner worlds, he touches on the law of attraction, which, man, that always seems to get people talking. Oh, it totally does get people talking. And I think there's like a lot of misunderstanding about what it actually is, you know? Mm, right. But what I find interesting is how Larry approaches it. He's really big on like, it's not about just wishing for things and expecting them to magically happen. Okay, so not just positive thinking then. No, not yeah. at all. Yeah. He talks about like, yeah, your thoughts and emotions, they need to be aligned with what you want. But then he goes deeper, right? He's like, what if you've got these misaligned thoughts, these negative emotions, they can actually sabotage you? Oh, interesting. Even if you're like actively working towards your goals. Exactly. Like you can be taking all the right steps, but if you're holding on to doubt, fear, whatever it is. It's like you're putting up your own roadblocks. Exactly. And this is where I think that whole self-awareness thing comes in. Larry talks about different tools, techniques to kind of uncover those hidden blocks, shift your mindset. And he does this through like a ton of different stuff. We've got the videos, podcasts. He even mentions these journals he's created. Mm, right. It's like he's meeting people wherever they're at, you know, different yeah. ways to connect with his message. I like that. So the journals, those could be interesting. Totally. Imagine, like, they guide you through this process he's developed. Maybe it's identifying limiting beliefs. Mm. Maybe it's visualizing your ideal self. Yeah, like having a personal coach, but in a notebook. Exactly. And then you've got the podcast for, like, when you're on the go, need a little inspiration. And, of course, the videos, that's like a direct connection, you know? Yeah. You see his energy, hear his voice. It's like he's created this whole, I don't know, ecosystem for personal growth. You said earlier he's not your typical guru, but he definitely has a knack for making these concepts like down to earth. You know? Oh, for sure. And that might be what's so appealing about him. He's not coming from this place of I have all the answers. It's more like, hey, I'm figuring this out too. come along with me, which is refreshing. You feel like you can relate to him flaws and all. Oh, he even sells T-shirts. Did you see that? No way. What? Yeah. With the be the flavor of life tagline. 
What do you think about that? Well, it's definitely different. But actually, if you think about it in the context of his whole philosophy, it kind of makes sense. How so? Like, maybe those t-shirts are meant to be conversation starters. Someone sees it, asks you about it, boom, you're sharing your flavor, connecting with people. Oh, I like that. Wearing your heart, or at least your personal growth journey, on your sleeve. Right. It's like he wants us to be proud of our, you know, personal growth journeys, not hide them away. Totally. Like, wear it as a badge of honor. And that actually makes me think of something else he talks about, that whole community aspect. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because he's all about finding your own flavor, right? But he seems to get that we don't grow in a vacuum. Hmm. We need each other. That is interesting. I hadn't thought about it quite like that, but you're right. Like when he says, medicine to the sick, love combating negativity, hmm. it does kind of imply this back and forth. You know? Yeah, right. It's like offering yourself to the world. And that connection, that's maybe where the real growth comes in for everyone. It makes you wonder, like, what if everyone thought like that? saw themselves as part of something bigger. Right. It's a cool thing to think about. And it kind of shows the power of these ideas, right? He's not just giving tips. He's talking about a whole different way of being. Authentic, giving back, yeah. connected. So after this deep dive into Larry Moten, I'm thinking, this guy's more than just a personal growth guy. Right? Yeah. He's like part philosopher, part entrepreneur, even a little bit of a rebel, pushing us to find our own way. Totally. He's reminding us it's not one size fits all, this growth thing. It's about discovering yourself, owning it, and then figuring out how to make a difference. And who knows? Maybe along the way we inspire other people to do the same thing. Exactly. Leaving a little trail of flavor wherever <laughs> we go. This was fun. So many interesting ideas to unpack with Larry Moe. It really makes you think, what unique things do WE each have to offer? And how do we use them to have a positive impact? Something to chew on. Thanks for joining this deep dive, everybody.